This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. So you, you may have heard me uh, uh, using the voice of a certain well-known historical figure. In, in uh, you know, uh, the months previous, making some complaints uh, about the global warming crowd, the scientific community, and so forth, and outlying the, the many uh, things that would have to be sort of proven or steps taken before it would become sort of acceptable for the government to intervene and try to reduce global warming. YouTube, of course, inserted its own uh, propaganda into the into my video description, or at least into the area between uh, the video and the video description. They apparently know exactly how everything is and exactly what everyone should do. But uh, despite whatever concerns we might have about process or information or scientists or leftists or environmentalists, it doesn't necessarily mean they're wrong about the science. And maybe it should fall on us freedom folk to be the ones who do the best when it comes to individual action against possible anthropological global warming, man-made uh, heating. I've made a point of hearing these people out, and th th though there may be probably nothing they can ever say to make it suddenly ethical to use taxation and government force to deputize the whole population into fixing a possibly severe problem. That doesn't mean I'm not with them when it comes to conservation. You know, because it doesn't do the world any harm if I drive less. It doesn't do the world any harm if I take a Navy shower. I'm doing both of those things, and I, I try to even hand wash most of my clothes now, uh, partly using the hot water that the, that the uh, shower generates. I think that's the kind of example we would have really appreciated from our scientific community and our politicians if they had lived that way over the last 10 or 20 years and urged us to follow their lead instead of flying around in Lear jets, landing, then telling us not to own SUVs maybe we'd have made a lot more progress uh, against any uh, real threat that's going on in the environment. I can certainly uh, sympathize though with the, the frustrations of these people who are sort of my enemies politically. I can sympathize with their frustration that, that people just don't care. So many don't and so many make uh, no effort to limit their potentially negative impact on the air, the ground, the everything. It's like they just stop caring about their grandkids when it comes to the question of how much energy to spew out. Or maybe they legitimately disbelieve the global warmer claims. And one can, un one can sure see why they would, considering all the uh, suppression of ideas and uh, political misbehavior of the global warming crowd. Let's be better than them. If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com.